put the gnat buzzing around. He's tapping her leg. She's backing out of the hole. So. He's much more brazen than the other one was. Try to hope this ends well. She's receptive, very receptive. Looks like the other one, she's starting to back them up. Spider porn. I meant to buy one on Amazon because they had the other digital camera. Yeah. This might come in handy. Your arm won't hurt as much either.
This is a quick update of my Hapalopus species Columbia large breeding attempt. Um, unfortunately, we had a long video posted where I pulled the sack from the female and opened it up and discovered eggs with legs. Um, my phone ate it. Um, it disappeared. It was saved. I went to go upload it and do the editing and it disappeared. So unfortunately, this is kind of an after the fact. Let me see if I can uh, zoom in here. A couple days later, as you can see, lots and lots of little eggs with legs. There's a little cluster there I'm going to have to try to separate in a minute because I think there's a bad egg in it. But the majority of them were okay. Let me go ahead and there we go. And I'll zoom in a little bit. Lots of little eggs with legs. So um, this was my female that I amicably called B. Arthur. Uh, once again, Brandy supplied another male. This time his name was Hazel. And the breeding attempt went a little faster than the last one I tried with Spookly. Um, Hazel was in it to win it. And immediately they started their courting ritual. I got the catch cup out of the way this time. And they went all the way around the pen a couple times. Finally, he went for insertion. And as soon as he inserted, she wrapped them. So these, these ladies don't play around. She got very, very fat. Um, laid an egg sack about five days later, I think. I can double check and put it in the comments. And then 22 days later, I pulled the sack from her. She did not want to let it go. She was an excellent mother through the whole thing and kept rolling the sack to make sure that the eggs didn't settle and get smushed, which was great. And then she fought me for the sack when I went to take it, which was not so great because I felt really terrible. She was being a good mom. But opening it up, the majority of them looked like they were good eggs and we have eggs with legs. So um, I sent photos to Brandy. Brandy counted around 250. Lots and lots of little slings. So uh, we'll see how these guys progress. I'm guessing they'll be a molt pretty soon. But uh, success. Successful breeding attempt. One of my favorite species, Hapalopus species, Columbia larges, as I zoom out of this. Um, you can see the incubator I have here. It's basically just 16 ounce deli cups with um, coffee filters in them and moist paper towels on the bottom and this is a container I got from the container store that I did not have in use and to make sure that when they hatch they can't crawl out I put gauze over the holes in the side also keep any little gnats or anything out um, but so far so good they've been all if you watch closely they'll be moving around and everybody's looking great so once again Hapalopus species Columbia large the pumpkin patch breeding attempt was a success B. Arthur with uh, the male hazel hazel lots of little babies All right, here's an update on my egg sac from my Hapalopus species Columbia Large. Really excited because I've been checking these guys daily like a little kid waiting for Christmas to come. And every day it's been the same thing, eggs with legs, eggs with legs, eggs with legs. Uh, this morning I checked them out, and if you'll notice from the last video, the color of the eggs has all turned more of an like, oystery color than that yellow. And hopefully I can zoom in and catch this. There's one right there. Hold on. They have started to molt. So there we go. We got our first little spiderling over there. Um, there's another guy partially out. Another guy over there. And let's see. There's another guy. Oh, no, these are the legs. There he is, right there. So they are hatching. Very, very excited. This is uh first successful breeding project. Um, I stayed away from breeding for a while only because now I've got to actually take care of what I believe is about 250 of these. I actually sent them to uh, pictures to Brandy, the who, uh, person who supplied me with the males, and she actually went ahead and counted them all, which I just did not have the attention span for, unfortunately. Um, a lot of little babies there. So that's one thing you got to remember if you're going to breed these guys or breed some of these tarantulas. They do, they can produce a couple hundred. Some of them produce even thousands of uh, baby slings. So something to keep in mind, but very, very excited. Let me just zoom in on this guy there. There we go. So Hapalopus species Columbia large, although these are very, very, very tiny. And I'm guessing the majority of these guys will be molted out by morning because they all change at the exact same time. So very, very cool stuff. Very excited. And uh, I'll obviously keep uh, updating people on the progression of these guys as they get older. Okay, and one more quick update. They have all molted out. 
to first instar. Let me see if I can go ahead and there we go. There they all are, just sitting there waiting. And uh, now the waiting game begins. It's been five days since they, uh, they all molted out into first instar. So now I'm just waiting for them to molt into second instar. And they're darkening up a little bit, getting a little slower. So I'm hoping it's going to come sooner than later. And then the real fun will begin when I have about 250 little second instar hungry slings darting around. So there we are. This will probably cap off this video and then I'll do one when they all molt out. I had to go through and pick out, uh, there was a couple dead eggs. I don't want to get any mold or any nastiness in there. There were a few dead eggs, so I had to go ahead and pick those out. Just zoom in here. There they all are. Cute little things. All of them have slowed down quite a bit this morning, so I'm hoping that means that the uh, next molten is imminent. Sorry, I'm a little stuffed up this morning. My allergies are killing me. Here's one moving. So there they are, and hopefully within the next couple of days I'll get them out.